Hey, it's Phil at Tom's Bronco Parts. We're working on series six of TBP Tech Time. We're gonna show you guys how to install three point seat belts on this Bronco here. Hey, we're back here with Ernesto. He works here up in the office. He uh, has purchased this Bronco and wanted to install these three point seat belts. So our instructions basically tell you to mark the roll bar here about 34 inches up from the floorboard. The best thing to do to get an accurate measurement is actually get the person in the vehicle that's going to be driving it and have them position themselves in the seat where they're comfortable and then mock it up and have them hold it in place and adjust this to where it's not cutting off their neck and it's just high enough that it comes down across the top of their shoulder and down their chest and at that point you'd want to make a mark and drill through the roll cage to mount your mounting point up here for your three-point belts. So we've established where we need to drill our hole for our three-point. Basically, if you measure up from the floorboard to the mounting point here, it's about 32 inches. But like I said, everybody's torso is different. So you're going to come up with a different measurement depending on where the drivers sit. I like to start off with using a center punch. I'll make my mark. I'll drill in with a small pilot, like a 5 16 drill bit, and then I'll step it up using a step bit or the correct size drill bit to whatever hole the bolt hardware is, which I think is half inch. So I'll go ahead and do those steps and we'll show you the next step after that. So we've gone ahead and mounted the point up here for your uh, three point seat belt. That's fixed. The next step at that point would be to find out where you wanna place the lower retractor and the mount plate for this lower receiver belt. It depends on if you have a roll cage, if you don't have a roll cage, if you want to utilize the roll cage plate bolts. I think for this application in Ernie's Bronco, we're going to go ahead and use the roll cage uh, plate bolts. And if you do that, I would probably upgrade them to a grade eight um, and maybe even a fine thread grade eight. So I think this placement of this lower plate will do good here. And we can utilize those two mount. Uh, bolts and then we might take this plate here and run it this way and attach the receiver and have it mount here on the outside that way it stays away from the back of the seat you still have room to slide the seat back and the seat belt should still retract when it's all mounted in position So we've gone ahead and we've uh, mounted the brackets here to the base plate of the roll cage and we've enlarged the holes and uh, put the grade eight bolts in place. Uh, each ap application is gonna be different like we stated before on how to mount your bracketry. This is the best way we found to mount the brackets uh, for, for Ernie's Bronco here. We're gonna duplicate the other side the same. We also suggest to mount the point up here at the same height from the ground floor of the Bronco here to the mount on the roll cage just so it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It might not exactly fit the passenger the, the same depending on their height of their torso but at least it'll look the same aesthetically to anybody looking at the Bronco. And you can see here we'll just go ahead and use one of the short fine threaded gradient bolts here to mount the retractor to the angle bracket. Use a washer and the nylock on both sides. And you snug that up. At that point. And then your seat belt will work and retract. And it will be out of the way of the seat so you'll get some seat slide movement out of it as well. So we're back and we've gone ahead and mounted the receiver portion of the three-point seat belts. We've utilized the factory fine threaded hole here with our angle bracket and mounted the seat belt receiver to the outside of it. On some applications, like an earlier version Bronco, your hole placement might need to be redrilled and moved out farther to get it to clear the outside of the seat. You've also got to take into consideration if you have a center console, you might also need to adjust the seatbelt 
receiver uh, angle bracket plate mount where you drill it in order for the center console to clear. This is not going to have a center console, so we were able to use that factory hole location and it brought the seat belt right around the outside of the seat and it'll work great for us. If you have any questions, look us up on the web at www.tomsbroncoparts.com or you can call in here to Tom's Bronco Parts 205-458-5500.